Good morning, YouTube. Uh, long time no see. So, what are we doing today? Um, I just bought the DW um, bass drum hoop splash mount, which I've added some sim pads to. Because lately, I really like these. Um, so, what's this about? Um, so, I, right now, I am rocking the uh, PDP Classic Maple Kit with the wood hoops um, for my small game kit, as opposed to my big design series monster. So, what this is about is uh, this hoop clamp that they mean for bass drum hoops, and that's perfect as it's designed. But that is really cool the way they've adapted their, their hardware to do a certain job. Um, no matter how far down you crank that sucker, um, you're going to find that it will not grip these hoops. So this is a uh, really easy mod. The part isn't expensive, um, and this is what I had to do to get this to work. So you need a PDP or Design Series bass drum claw, which is significantly smaller. If you can see that there, it's not nearly as long. And what you'll do is take this screw out right here, this tension rod, and it's really awesome how they've used, I don't want to say off-the-shelf parts, but pretty much off-the-shelf parts to make this doohickey. Because I'm pretty sure this whole unit here is based off their bass drum um, hi-hat stand attachment for double bass players. Awesome. So you take the standard DW hoop clamp, or claw rather, off. Set that aside. Keep it. Might need it eventually. And you're going to put this one in its place. The next problem you'll run into with this that you'll find is that this... Oh, sorry, I'm trying to do this with no tripod. This piece here and this part here, this is a much shallower angle than this is. And what's going to happen is you're going to slide this down and it's going to catch this um, tension rod receiver. And that's just not going to be pretty. It's going to sit like that. So what you've got to do, take this tension rod receiver and flip it over. On the bottom of this, they've got it um, made so it's hexagonal to hold that so it doesn't move. So now I'm going to try to do this. You guys can see what I'm doing. I'm going to put the tension rod through the design series or PDP claw, which these are not expensive, guys. Sweetwater has these for super cheap. Um, Hi, Sweetwater. <laughs> um, I'm gonna run that down through there like that. And as you can see, it's significantly smaller of a grip than what it used to be. And then you will, let's see if I can get this for you guys. I'm going to prop this up. Okay, let's use this DW base for the Makes a great foam prop. Maybe. by DW and Apple. All right, let's see. So, see that there? I'll get this flipped over. You're gonna place that into the, uh, the cutout on the bottom in such a way that it slides in there, it's locked, it's not gonna turn. You will then go ahead and start threading that tension rod, which I'm doing right now. Hold this with my other hand, so I'm really sorry about the angle. You know what I'm saying. Get that started in there so that won't come out. Now, you want to apply it to your tom hoop. And this is just for the wood hoops. I haven't tried this on chrome, you know, triple flange D dub hoops yet. So, as you can see, we are much closer, and I've got it too tight right now. So, you're going to take a drum key and turn that back down until it's the right length. Sorry guys, sorry, I'm trying here. It's uh, before 9 a.m. on the uh, Eastern Standard Time. Okay, as you can see, that just kind of fell into place there. Now, as per their instructions, you wanna go ahead and put this uh, claw, this tooth, so to speak, underneath the skin hoop, and then, of course, the claws on the top of the hoop. And you could position this anywhere between these um, claws that the drum uses for tension. And then now, go ahead and turn that key. 
make sure you keep that claw where it's supposed to be. And keep in mind, this is not perfect. This is, you know, this is a cool product. I wanted to use it on this kit so I didn't have to carry a splash arm. So I'm just modding this. You can crank that on up. Don't overdo it. You don't want to bend the hoop on the, the head itself, but as you can see, it's clamped on there. And uh, that's it. Now you can um, you know, adjust the product this way, you know, up and down, left and right. Um, you can leave the little rubber foot on here. I think that's more so so you don't mess up your, uh, your bass drum finish or your hoop finish. I'm not using it for that, so I'll pop this off. And thankfully, not that they would do any less, they've got a nice clean bottom on that, so it, it doesn't look weird. And this can go in my spare parts drawer, because this, I believe, is the same as the uh, 12 and a half millimeter floor tom leg foot, so. But yeah, um, just a way to mod this, if you, if you like. Um, be cool if they came out with some kind of adapter setup, so that I could just use this, but it doesn't quite fit, so. Um, yeah, feel free to comment. Keep in mind, this is a quick and dirty video, and I apologize for the uh, <laughs> instability of it. So, thanks, guys. Take care.